Well, it may take you a second to figure out what the new visitor at Hope for Wildlife actually is. So she has brown eyes and brown hair. Some have pegged her as a fox, and she is, but she's not. CTV's Caitlin Andrea has the introductions. Raccoons are regular guests here at Hope for Wildlife. Dozens come in each spring. But they're not all your typical black-eyed bandits. So this is Reed's Roost, and this is actually where she is staying for right now. Chelsea Pullen is a veterinary technician at the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. She says this natural blonde has only been here a week and has definitely kept people guessing. We actually have many people that say she looks like a little fox, but she's, no, she's a blonde raccoon. Without the infamous black mask of her counterparts, this shy little lady pulls off a look all her own. So the discoloration, um, it basically is just a lack of pig pigment, um, a melon in her skin um, and in the hair follicles. But if you will notice, she actually has a brown nose and brown eyes, so she's not a true albino. But she's truly a rare sight in this province. Well, you know, we don't really have exact numbers. All I can say is that we've been here for 21 years and this is only two that we've, we've seen. Now, it may look cozy, but this box is about the same size as the den she'd be living in if she were out in the wild. She looks good, she looks great, she's healthy, so we're just gonna wait a few more weeks until the weather gets warmer and then, and then she'll be able to go right back out. She's getting star treatment right now, but better not get used to it. Her stay here will be less than a month. She actually was brought to us by some concerned citizens that had some chickens at home. And, and we hear this a lot. Um, you know, we want to live close with nature and yet have our domestic pets. So they were concerned for their chickens, so they brought her in so that we could relocate her. Pullen notes that thicker wire or a well-built chicken coop is all you need to protect chickens from rascally raccoons. But if you have concerns about wildlife on your property, the solution could be as simple as annoying your neighbor. If you ever have wildlife that's on your property, and it works really well for mammals, is you want to play some really loud kind of bass rock music and some shine some lights. And if you can shine lights at them and play music, you know, it's not a good place for them to raise babies, and they will actually move out. She is. She's curious, which all raccoons are. By the end of April, this raccoon will move out too back to the wild, where she'll still stand out in a crowd. Caitlin Andrea, CTV News, Seaforth, Nova Scotia.